Hey guys, it is some day of the week. Um, I'm sorry about last week. I just didn't have time to do this. As you might be able to tell, this is my small homage to Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog. I have my lab coat and my goggles, and it was silly, but I had to do it. What are you gonna do? Right, so I just traveled through time via the power of video editing. That was Thursday night. This is Friday afternoon. Sorry, it's a week and one day late, but here is my vlog and you're just gonna have to deal with it. Well, the first thing I wanna talk about is Waiting for Godot. We are reading it for my British Lit class, but we are also performing it. We're not just performing it though. We're performing it with the French class. Half in English and half in French. So yeah, the members of the British Lit class will be speaking in English and playing the characters Vladimir, Pazo, and Blucky. And members of the French classes will be playing the other two characters, speaking only in French. So like, they're going to deliver their lines in French and we're going to respond in English even though we don't actually know what they've said. Because we're all English majors. Um, I play the character Lucky, and I don't have any lines. Lucky has one ginormous and mostly nonsensical monologue, but that's not during my part, so I don't have any lines to memorize. I just have a whole bunch of stage direction and the picking up of stuff and putting stuff down and uh, physical comedy, stuff like that. I like not having lines. I don't like talking. Yes, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Um, gonna be really weird. I mean, the play itself is weird. On top of that, we're doing it in two different languages with people who are not actors. <laughs> the second thing I want to talk about is that I found another sort of ad package design thing that really amused me, sort of like the, uh, the jeggings thing last time. Only this time it was on my cereal box. The kicks, you know, they're delicious. I love them. I'm out and it's very sad. Um, but on the back it says, Great kicks taste equals happy kids. Just think about that for a second. Now, I understand what they're trying to say. That, that great kicks taste causes children to be happy. But that's not the math that they used. They said, great kicks taste is happy children. Kicks taste like happy children. So I figured, since I have nothing else to talk about, um, I'm going to show you some of the stuff I'm doing in drawing. I did some stuff with soft pastels. It was really cool. So there's that. Can you see it? Yep, they're apples. We did a still life after that. Mara, this made me think of you. Um, for my Bible class, I am writing a research paper about the book of Ruth. Yay. So that's what I'm going to be doing all weekend, is researching Ruth. There are worse ways to spend a weekend. Bye, see you on Sundays!